Hello everybody. Let's make some mustache wax. Okay, so we've got our uh, pre-topped mustache wax here with the recipe on the back. And this well-loved can of mustache wax is um, empty. So we're gonna fill it back up. I've also got some of our tree-topped tree -topped beard wax here. They also have a recipe on the back. We actually have our recipe posted on the website. It's also posted on Amazon right alongside the product. So you can uh, buy a new canister on Amazon or you can check there for the recipe if you don't have your own can with recipe on it. Uh, so anyways, let's make some beard wax and mustache wax. We're gonna cover two different methods today, neither of which are the stovetop method. So really the ingredients just need to be melted together on like a low heat low, low heat. Uh, if you do decide to make your beard wax or mustache wax on the stovetop, just as low as the stove will possibly go and put the rosin in last. Uh, so, talked about the recipes. The recipes, like I said, are printed on the backs of these cans. You can also find them on greenbeardgrooming.com. The beard wax we are going to make in this adorable little crock pot here. Uh, it's essentially a candle warmer. You could also use a candle warmer, right? Uh, and like I said, we're just heating them up on super low heat. So let's do that one first. The beard wax is one part hemp seed oil, one part beeswax, and one part pine rosin. I'm gonna use tablespoons, one part hemp seed oil, One part beeswax. One part pine rosin. Now I wish I had another tablespoon to use, um, but I don't. So one part pine rosin. Pine rosin is real powdery stuff or you might get it in a, a, a like a crystal chunk form. You know, stick it in a bag, break it up with a hammer. It's gonna be a little sticky and messy, but uh, the powder, the powderized pine rosin is what you wanna use. Okay. So that'll make about an ounce and a half, which is more or less what I need to refill this two ounce container of beard wax. So gonna get that plugged in. For the mustache wax, we are going to make the mustache wax right here in the can. I'm doing it with the mustache wax because the mustache wax is the hardest um, of the two waxes to make because it's got more pine rosin in it. So recipes here on the back, a one part hemp seed oil, four parts beeswax, three parts pine rosin. If you want a stiffer hold, you can cut back on the pine rosin a little bit or step the uh, beeswax up. Okay, so. Again, let's see if this overfills the container or not. You know, teaspoons probably was going to be the way to go. Yeah, darn it. Okay, we are back and teaspoons is what I should have been using. Uh, I was gonna way overfill this little two ounce container. So anyways, we're back to making mustache wax. We're gonna make it here in the container. We are just gonna put the three ingredients in here and then stick it in the oven on 140 degrees for like half an hour, mix it up. And once it's all fully incorporated, we'll just let it cool down. One part hemp seed oil. I know you're tempted to start with the dry ingredients but it's good to have the oil there on the bottom. Four parts beeswax. We've got the pine rosin. Again, this is the powdered pine rosin. One, two, three. Hope I got those right. 
four parts beeswax, three parts pine rosin, one part hemp seed oil. Okay, so then you're gonna look at it and you're gonna think, I could put more in there. Um, but you know what? Don't. Let's just, uh, let's put this in the oven at 130, half an hour. Then, you know, if we want to make more later, we can. See you in half an hour. And we're back. All right. It has been, honestly, it's been like 50 minutes. So did I say, did I say half an hour? Because I really meant an hour or however long it takes for the rosin and the beeswax and the oil to, to fully incorporate. And really, of those three, the rosin is the reason it's gonna take a while. Um, and you'll find when you check on it, say, you know, put them in the oven, half an hour, crock pot, half an hour, whatever. Go and check on it. There's gonna be like little goo balls in it when you stir it up with your spoon. And that is what you don't want. You want it to just look like oil when you stir it. So stir it up. Uh, half hour mark, you're going to notice that it doesn't look like it's melted at all. Resist the urge to turn up the the uh, the temperature. Um, don't put the crock pot on high. Leave it on low. Don't crank the oven up. I I always crank it up, and then you know five minutes later, it's way too hot in there. Uh, so so I, I actually half an hour went by. Opened the oven up, stirred up. I was like, why isn't it doing anything? Turn the oven up, and then I was like, oh no, I always do this. Put it back down to uh, 140 is what we've got it at, and um, should be good to go. So before we take it out of the oven, put something on your countertop so you don't melt your countertop and upset people. All right. Woo! Barehanded, not recommended. All right, use, you know, use tongs or... Maybe, you know, an oven mitt. Okay, let's do this again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up dropping it. There we go. All right, ah, much safer. Okay, stir it up some more. And what you want is that rosin to be fully incorporated. That's what we got going on. And you can see, you know, there's it's starting to cool off already is what's happening, but we're looking pretty good. More or less what it should look like. Now I use teaspoons. Um, we made like half a container. So one ounce worth, that's not bad. You know, I think now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I could have doubled up the recipe. Um, but that's risky. Let's go get the little baby crock pot. See how the beard wax is doing. This is like a cheese dip crock pot. And honestly, this is what we wanted the mustache wax to look like. They're both gonna turn out great. Okay. So I'm gonna pour this in here, probably make a mess. Enjoy. These little containers are not made <laughs> to be poured out. Okay, so in here as well, I probably should have doubled up. I think I did three tablespoons, but better to not make enough than to overflow the container and have, have wax everywhere. All right, so we're gonna let these cool down and then, um. We're going to give them the field test. All right, fellas, I am told I need to get my butt out of the kitchen. So we're going to finish this up with a field test on these waxes. All right, we've got the mustache wax here, beard wax there. That little baby crock pot must get pretty hot because beard wax is not cooling down nearly as fast as the mustache wax did. Granted, you know, this is about half container full. So this is, a, it's got more in it. Boop. Warm, fresh wax, man. That feels good. 
Mm. Mustache wax. Looks good. Beard wax. All right. And I think the little baby crock pot was a bit hotter than the oven, so it's still, still toasty. Beard wax too. You know, it feels just like it's supposed to feel. And so that is how you save money on beard wax and mustache wax. Let's see. The container held up just fine to the oven. Awesome little stone paper labels. It's kind of a cool thing. But all in all, super easy, right? So like I said, this is a little baby crock pot. Could easily be a candle warmer. That would work too. Um, this one we literally just put in the oven. This guy, the, the beard wax, would be even easier to make in the oven. You could melt this stuff at like 130 instead of 140 because there's less rosin in it. Oh, so it would have cooked in the oven a lot easier than the mustache wax, but I wanted to do the mustache wax in the oven just to make sure uh, that I wasn't going to run into any real issues since uh, I'm... I'm making this tutorial for you guys, right? See you in a bit.